Since Julius Peppers just got named to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, there's a lot of speculation amongst Panthers fans of which retired Panthers next to go to Canton. Well, it just so happens that Luke Keekley comes up on the ballot for the first time in 2025. And let's just say if you look at the other candidates on the ballot, I really like Luke's chances of being named a first ballot Hall of Famer. Now the question is, does he deserve that? Is Luke Keekley a first ballot Hall of Fame caliber player? My simple answer to that is yes, absolutely, of course. What kind of question is that? But y'all are going to say that that's just my Panther bias and that I have no basis of an argument other than my bias. Well, hear me out. Let me give my numbers because I do have some numbers to help my case. Luke Keekley played in the National Football League from 2012 to 2020. That's not as long as many Hall of Fame worthy players because remember, Luke retired so he would avoid getting countless concussions that would allow him not to be able to do normal life outside of football, and he never wanted his talent to slow down. He never wanted that production to go away, and he did just that. I mean, he retired as the top middle linebacker in the league. So, in those seasons from 2012 to 2020, Luke Keekley had a lot of accolades. He was named AP Defensive Rookie of the Year in 2012, AP Defensive Player of the Year in 2013, a should have been AP Defensive Player of the Year in 2015, but the NFL gave the award to J.J. Watt. He was named to seven Pro Bowls, five first-team All-Pros, 1,000 combined tackles, 12 and a half sacks, nine fumbles, 18 interceptions, a pick six, countless pass breakups, and offensive reads. Like, seriously... Luke Keekley might would make a better offensive coordinator than a defensive coordinator. The way he knows an offensive scheme, it's like the best I've ever seen, and I've been watching the NFL since I was five years old. He was the cornerstone of the Panthers' defense in the 2010s. He was the cornerstone of the Panthers' defense in 2015, and he is a cornerstone of Panthers football. I do not know many defensive players that have made a bigger impact to a franchise than what Luke Keekley was able to do to the Carolina Panthers defense. He was fantastic. These are first ballot Hall of Fame numbers. And Keekley did all this through several concussions, several injuries. He was just that dominant. Yes, Clay Matthews is a great all-time linebacker who I loved watching as a kid who also comes up for the Hall of Fame in 2025. But there is no way he comes close to Luke Kuechly. He just doesn't. If you ask 100 NFL players who really know the game, who's better, Clay Matthews or Luke Kuechly, I'd be willing to put a lot of money on over 95% would say Luke Kuechly. I would say 99, but I'm giving Clay Matthews a chance here. There is no doubt that Luke Kuechly will make the Hall of Fame someday. There, there, there isn't. I believe there shouldn't be a doubt that he's a first bout Hall of Famer. I know there will be, but there absolutely shouldn't. Luke Keekley is a different breed.